Shalom Aleichem, how are you doing? Baruch Hashem, we're here kicking, live and kicking and happy and kicking and doing our job, Baruch Hashem. I wanted to tell you one small thing about this uh, wild discussion that is taking place on mainly on social media, that it's uh, really just noise, you know thousands or even millions of people that does not have any clue about what that really goes on here in the Holy Land of Israel are uh, allowing themselves to talk and basing their assumptions, their wisdom, so-called false wisdom, their imagination on, on false information that they're just drinking from angry people on social media and talking nonsense and just feeding themselves with piles on piles of nonsense information that is not solid that is not honest that is not true that is based on people that are just choosing to be angry and cruel and vicious cursing and swearing online and wishing horrible things to innocent people this is a this is just a waste that you just need to get rid of and not let it penetrate into your zone into your circles into your life in reality the blessing of the people of israel to live in the holy land is not even open to discussion or to any kind of debate. And all those crazy, not normal people that are questioning it and doubting it, it's coming only from lack of understanding of the true reality that this is our home and we belong here and the land is healthy when we are here and is dry and empty when we're not here. The land was like a desert for the 2000 years of our exile. And even though that many Jews were occupying the, the land and tried for thousands of years of our exile to come back, the real permission from heavens came a hundred years before of the Holocaust when the first settlers started to come back to the holy land of our ancestors of Abraham, Yitzhak, and Yaakov and to all the people who are <clears throat> I ran into so much ignorance from people online that are like writing texts that are so far from from the truth that are commenting on posts with such twisted knowledge People are writing to me, you're the son of Judah, you're not the son of the prophet Yaakov. Judah is the son of Yaakov, like what's going on with you? Muslim people that does not have knowledge can think that King David, they call him Daud, he was Muslim. Musa, they think he was Muslim. Moshe Rabbeinu, like what do you want guys? Like how much ignorance and, and, and it's like those crazy conversations with Christian people who will tell you what is written in the Bible when they're holding a twisted edition that is translated and, 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 and changed for, for religion manipulative purposes from the original source that we're the only one who are holding. The Hebrew Bible is the only original hand script that is the source of all the three religions. Now it's true, the Muslims, you believe in Muhammad and you believe he was a prophet. We, we don't mind, we don't have a problem that you will follow Muhammad. We, the Jewish people, by the rules of the Torah, 
We're not allowed to follow anyone who claims to be a prophet from any other religion. And from the day of the destruction of the second temple, we believe, and that's what we received from our ancestors in prophecy, in tradition, that since the day of the destruction of the second temple, prophecy disappeared from the world. So we're not telling you what to do or what not to do. We're just telling you that we cannot accept Muhammad as a prophet and we cannot accept Jesus as Messiah because we just do not believe that he was. It's just as simple as that. We have different tradition. We have our knowledge that's been given to us from generations and we're counting on our sages on the wise and righteous ones that gave us that list of of orders commandments rules and advice for the future and we are humbly in an innocent way honest way following their advice and that's it so we do not believe that muhammad was a prophet for us we do not believe that jesus was the messiah and we are following the beautiful traditional blessed path that our ancestors Avraham, Yitzchak and Yaakov inherit us, gave us. And this is our homeland and we're not going nowhere. When in the land of Israel, the land of Israel, the Israeli people that built and developed the wonderful country, the state of Israel, we're allowing all millions of Arabs that lives here to live calmly in peace as long as people are following the rules of the state and not building in an illegal way, not throwing stones on cars, not driving and drinking, like all the, all the simple rules. And if you go and you stab people in the streets because you're an upset and angry person, that's your problem. If you shoot rockets and innocent civilians, you're going to be bombed back. It's like, it's simple. What do you want? Do you think that there is any other normal state that you will allow violence toward their uh, uh, civilians? And also we're protecting the Arab uh, civilians that lives here in the Holy Land of Israel from the Hamas and, and, and crazy people that are attacking us in our days. So I would just suggest you all to relax and to breathe and to let uh, the IDF take care of the violence and terror. And thank God, we're very thankful to Hashem that gave us our children that are protecting us as soldiers in the army. And we're thanking Him for protecting us and may our merit just go stronger and stronger and that our Torah learning and our honest prayers will rise to the heavens, that our beautiful acts of kindness and grace will shine a light that will protect us even more and will build us even more and will allow the lost tribes to join us and together all nations, 70 nations, of honest, truthful, loyal, loving, and respecting people will all come and join forces together to bow in front of God, in front of our Creator in the temple, the third temple that will be built in our days. Amen. Relax. Everything is good. Just ignore the noise on social media and do your job and shine the light of love, the light of honesty and truth to all your surroundings and don't let the crazy and silly and empty negativity to reject you from any good thing that you want to do with your lives. Be confident that Hashem is with us, that the Torah is with us, that the land is prospering because it's so excited to, to get her children back after thousands of years of exile. The land is so beautiful and prospering since we came. It was a deserted desert. And when and since we came back, 
It started to bloom again and to rise and shine in such a holy and blessed way. May the light of Hashem shine within for us to believe in ourselves and not to doubt for a second the true, true, solid connection we have through our holy souls to the Maker, to the Torah, and to the Holy Land. Amen.